in today's video, I am going to be visiting uh, Boxcar Hippie. It's like a new place here in Rochester where they have, it. Well, they're fairly new. They just opened up. They have burritos and burrito bowls. So I'm going to go pick up my order. I didn't feel like eating out and I wanted to eat outside or I didn't feel like eating out like at the actual restaurant and I wanted to eat outside. But as you can see, it is kind of like cloudy, um, depressing and it's a bit chilly. So I'm going to go pick it up right now and I'll see you guys when I do. So, got it. Um, if you guys want to see more of the interior, I mean, that was actually really fast. I just went in there. That, that was super fast. But it's I have it in my porch video is where I show more of the inside. Well. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this burrito is huge. So now I can start eating. I was recording that whole time. Okay. This well, I'm gonna work with this angle. So this is the burrito. Let's see. Ooh, it's too bright. There we go. Um, I got it was a herbivores. Oh, there's rice. Herbivores, butcher, um, chicken. I think that's what it was. And it looks like there's rice, beans, and yeah, tomatoes. Take a bite. That was mostly rice, but that rice is pretty good. What I want to do is see. This is. It was a chicken. Hopefully it's focused. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that seasoning tastes. Oh my god, it tastes like that thingy. Barbacoa. How do you pronounce it? Barbacoa. If you heard that, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, I told you I was gonna do it. But if you heard that, that's how you pronounce it. Barbacoa. Oh my god. That is good. So let's try to get another. Let's do that. Oh my, I made a mess with the rice. Oh my God. Now, this bowl, basically it's like a burrito bowl. Has all the things it would have, have in the burrito. But for this one, as the meat option, I did. Oh, so they in my eye. Barbacoa, barbacoa, <laughs> barbacoa, um, pulled oats is what they had it on there. So, what? So, let's see. Let me try to get a good. So, I'm guessing if it's from pulled oats, that it's just oatmeal. Um, that's not focused. So, look of spice but it does resemble like meat which is pretty awesome so this seasoning compared to that one this one tastes like more it can actually go for it this one has a bit of a different flavor I would say but let me get like a spoonful of everything I wonder how big the bowl is the burrito it's huge oh my god this is awesome um and it oh my god it comes with some chile hot sauce and looks like it came with two of these so mango paletas Let's see i haven't had these for a while they're really the ingredients they seem to be vegan okay but as for the food was from a boxcar hippie um the restaurant actually opened i think i believe 
last month or maybe two months ago and they basically just have burrito burrito bowls a few sides i saw they also had like a vegan cuban pork um sandwich i was debating to get that but i just felt like that might have been too much food to try out but this was the burrito i it was one dollar extra for the vegan chicken and it came to be 11 let's see 11 11 dollars for the burrito one dollar more for the chicken and the bowl was 11 dollars these two things was $24.89 and it was $1.89 just for taxes but I mean just for a burrito and a bowl seems pretty expensive to me but it's a local restaurant and I wanted to try it out and plus they had vegan options and it was kind of kind of ish of Mexican food which I really wanted to try out Mexican vegan food but yes um it was fantastic I like the chicken um the bowl is like big and filling i'll probably finish this i'll probably save the burrito for tomorrow and finish the bowl tonight but i would give this a nine out of ten yes one point off just because how expensive it was but yes if you ever in rochester try out the boxcar hippie it's in the basement well it's really it's I think they had like an underground kitchen whatever but you just gotta pick it up from the porch that was all I got. I want to finish this later and like watch some TV with kombucha while I'm at it. And yeah, this was my review for the restaurant. And if you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to go to any other restaurants in Rochester or just to try out in general. And um, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.